Oh, they've sold millions of records. And here, the lead singer, the irrepressible Shirley Manson. Well, this is fun. <laughs> They're all here to see you. <laughs> this is more fun than working at the uh, at the Miss Selfridges, isn't it? Damn straight it is. You did, didn't you? The yes, work I did. there. Yeah. How long did you last? I actually lasted quite a long time. I lasted five years. That's quite a long time. Almost yeah. pensionable. Uh, totally. <laughs> what department were you in? Well, I was on makeup for a while, and then I ended up being so unpleasant to customers and so impatient that they moved me into the stock room. So uh, they took me actually off the customer floor. <laughs> Why were you so impatient? Because you were you felt frustrated that you weren't doing what you wanted to do. Uh, yeah, and also the public at large in, in any shop situation are kind of unbearable. Right. I think you can ask any shop assistant in the world, they'll tell you that. That they wish they were doing something else, like singing yeah. on a stage. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you when you first sang on the stage in front of actual people? Oh, I young. I was three years old. You were? What did you sing? I sang Never Smile at a Crocodile. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that tune. <laughs> Don't oh, make yeah. me sing it. Do you know that, George? No, but it's got to start like that. It's got to start like that. Uh, you could sing it, though, if I were to, I don't know, bribe you? <laughs> you could bribe me with a lot of money. A lot of money it would take. Yeah. It's a children's song, is it? It's a children's song, yeah. And I, I sang it in a little aquamarine swimsuit, and I, I was, I was pretty cute. I I'll bet that. you were. You're holding up well too. Thank I mean, you. you're, you're still pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> How did you get together with this band? Which, the name of which, uh, I wouldn't mind discussing, m mainly because you are all going to grow up, and if the band endures, I mean to keep calling yourself garbage I don't know do you do you think have you ever discussed that oh we discussed it a lot I can assure you when I first joined the band it was discussed a lot because I just thought it was the worst name I was going, are you crazy this is just a crazy idea and then um, it's kind of stuck and now I don't think people even think of it in terms of uh, garbage. You know, garbage anymore it's just you, you associate it with the name of the band so. but what did you want to call it did you have other brilliant names I didn't have any brilliant names but I'd, I'd, I'd been in a band called Goodbye Mr McKenzie for 10 years and I'd hated that name because it was such a mouthful and then I started up my own band which was called Angelfish and my mother loved the name Angelfish and she was very proud to tell everybody because it was sweet and it was pretty and whatever and then when I, she was very excited when I got involved with Butch Vig and and then I said there's one drawback mum the name of the band and she said what is it dear I said it's called garbage. She went, oh! oh. <laughs> the poor woman. I mean, really and truly. Does she come to the concerts? Uh, yes, actually, she's been to a couple. She's been to a couple. And God what does her. she think about all of this? They're totally into it. Yeah. I, I sometimes catch a sight of them and they're in the back punching the air. And <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. It's, it's alarming, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to think that they've gotten so incredibly hip when you thought that they were so incredibly old. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> my, I mean, my parents are more in tune with what's going on in the underground music scene now than I am. So. Right. <laughs> well, they have more time. Exactly. Now, um, you, but I suppose all the people here know how you got hooked up with these guys. They're all from Wisconsin, yeah. Madison, yeah. which is a university town. That is correct. And pretty. It's a pretty little yeah. town. I mean, <laughs> it's not exciting old Edinburgh. <laughs> well, I've had so much uh, grief from, from the Madisonians. I, I mean, I was really, I, I've, I've kind of dissed Madison quite a bit, but it's really sort of with a tongue firmly placed in my cheek. And the locals have taken umbrage with me and now start, have started to graffiti our studio with like, you know, how dare she say things about our beautiful town? Well, and like what? That it's dull? I mean, yeah, I mean they, they can't hear you here. They, they, they oh, tell, I'm sure someone somewhere will it, hear. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not the most exciting place in the world, that's for sure. And I don't drive, so I can't get, I can't wheel around, and so that drives Why don't you crazy. drive? Well, because where I come from, we have a very, a very efficient public, you know, service. So. And there's nowhere to park ever. No. No. Do you want to learn how to drive? Yes. I can teach you how to drive in an hour. I'm there, baby. Okay, let's go. <laughs> now, there's one tiny problem. I don't know how to drive on the left because I'm afraid every time I go to England or Ireland or Scotland that I'll kill all the women and children first. <laughs> that I'll come careening around a corner and bludgeon somebody. So if I teach you how to drive on the right, you have to pay attention when you get back home. Yeah, just teach me the basics. I'll work the rest out myself. Yeah, get an automatic. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I would teach you how to drive a gear shift, but I can't do that in an hour. <laughs> okay. What you need to do is get a very expensive little sports car, and by God, sister, you'll know how to drive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, do you live uh, it's still in Scotland? Yeah. Yeah, I do. In, in, uh, and you live with somebody? Do you still? Yes. I'm not going I to... I hope I still do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole world could have changed since last time. You don't know something I... that I don't, do you? No, no, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it could have changed. You could have, you know. No, I'm still living with the same person. Uh, but you live in some sort of fairy tale Anne Hathaway kind of house or something. Actually, that just got the boot very recently because uh, my, my husband had to work in order for us to keep our fairy tale house. And so he's now no longer working. And so um, we lost the house. So I, I bought a house earlier this year and it's normal. Just a, just a normal house? It's a normal Well, house. that's too bad, isn't it? Well, I like the fact that he doesn't have to work it as a janitor anymore and shove his hand down toilets for a living, so... Well, that's true. I can understand how you might think that. It's admirable and as necessary a job is, that is. Now, does he go on the road now with you? Now he can focus on my toilets. <laughs> it's all about me, 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 isn't it's it? all about me. Yeah. Now, why is it that you are here... I mean, I know that you're the star of garbage, and I don't know whether the boys like that so much. Do they... Are they happy that you are uh, in the front of uh, it all? I think they're relieved that they don't have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, you know. I, I think, I think they, they, kind of, they deliberately wanted a front person who would remove the onus of responsibility from them. All right. this, it's something that works for all of us. And you don't mind it? Um, no, I don't mind it. I mean, I'm much more communicative than they are. I'm, I'm, I enjoy meeting people and I enjoy, you know, rapping with them. So. It's something that comes naturally to me and not so naturally to them, so right. it does work. So you're prepared to do the, the groundwork? By God, I make them pay for it, though. And, uh, <laughs> and how, how is that uh, achieved? Well, I'd you like know, to know. Like today, for instance, you know, they all know that I was up early to come here to meet yes. you. And, and so I'm going to make that work for me all day. I'll be, I'll be things like, I really need a coffee. Steve, could you go and get me one? And he'll have to go and get me one. That's right. <laughs> so you've got it all figured out, haven't I, you? Yep. <laughs> Are you planning on uh, being in this business for your, your life? Is this what you wanted to do and will do it and start singing Frank Sinatra songs when you turn 60? See, I'd love to do that. Would but you? No, I don't. I never wanted actively pursued being in a band. And uh, I certainly don't want to be knocking around the stage when I'm 50. I, it's not something that interests me. I mean, I'm sort of fascinated by the whole process of making music. So maybe I'll, I'll always probably have music in my life. But I don't think I'll be, yeah, rocking a band, you know, when I'm 50. God no. forbid. Somebody, sh somebody out there should Stop be me. before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to produce something, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of things I'd like to do. I mean, I, I think one of the band's goals is to, to um, score a movie, which mm -hmm. is something we're, we're really interested in doing. And I would like at some point to sing with a big band. And I also would like to do some stage acting. I'm surprised that George hasn't broken into song. Just waiting for the opportunity. Just, just waiting. Well, wake up, George. <laughs> <laughs> wake up and, and get the coffee, George. We're just searching for Sinatra <laughs> tune for you. Do, uh, do you, um, when you're alone, sing his songs, or even with the guys? Do you try standards? Yeah. Like yeah. what? A lot of Frank Sinatra. Yeah. But sometimes when they're depressed, like, like when spirits um, flag, I bring out the old. Old show tunes and do tap dancing for them. So I sing really? things like Oklahoma and um, <laughs> Somewhere Over a Rainbow, and I do it in a really perverse, vulgar fashion. That At a girl! Eventually, <laughs> eventually they have to laugh. <laughs> and do they? Yes, they and do. And then they forget that they're being. Then um, they forget that they're depressed and lonely. And what, oh, is that what it is? <laughs> lonely? They're lonely on the road, poor darlings? Yeah. Aww. Now, in some. Uh, okay, close your eyes. I don't like closing my oh, eyes. Oh, just do it. Trust me, I won't hurt you. Oh, oh, God. If you throw a mince no, pie at my face. Dear, I won't. Look. <laughs> now you, Who have you been speaking to about this? Well, I don't I, I'm not sure. Here's it's already made up. See? Now, you don't mind if I touch this. My hands are clean. No, I don't they're, they're, I'm, I, I'm without uh, infection. This is a peanut butter, mayo, and grated carrot sandwich. Woo! Woo! Um, you may have that. Thank you very much. I'm not going to actually have it right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I'm a sort of inhibited kind of girl and I hate to eat, you know, in public. I, I do too, and I really hate that. And I have to do it on this show all the time. I'm always chiseling away on something. Oh, and I, it is all, I don't like it. That's not nice. I agree with you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm never doing it again. Could you be my producer? <laughs> Would you please come here and run my life? Certainly. Light? Certainly. But this, what is the um, well, actually, genesis of this? Well, actually, something slightly missing from this in that there should be a slice of yellow, hard yellow cheese. 
Oh, I didn't know about the cheese. Sort of a Swiss, hard Swiss cheese. But Other than is, that? This is tasty. I will... I will you I'm definitely inhale that, is it? Yeah, you're going to take it with you. It's going to be a bit soggy. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make you take a bite. Okay, thank you. Uh, so where do you go after a Vancouver concert? Um, we go down the west coast of America, and then we go back up the east coast of America, and then we go back into Canada, and uh, we're playing various concerts in Canada on the, sometime in November, I think. And did I uh, ask you, had you been here before? I don't remember whether I yes, even allowed we, you. Yes, we have. Right. But have you ever been here as a tourist, or have you always just come here to work? No, I've always come here to work. And actually, I, I don't know if this is a right thing to say in front of a Canadian audience or not. But I'd Give never, it a try. I'd never been particularly interested in coming to Canada, because, it, you know, it, it's portrayed kind of as like, you know, the poor cousin of America and whatever. And then the first time I came to Canada, I went to Toronto and I couldn't believe how amazing it was. Well, it's really like Scotland. It's England, very like it? Scotland. The people are very like Scottish people, but you've got all the great things about America and it seems none of the really horrible side of it. So I, I want to come back here t to holiday for sure. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's true. You're very afraid. See, the thing is that... Um, on several occasions, uh, I, was, I worked at the uh, Commonwealth Games in, in 86 in Edinburgh. And uh, also... Of course. Of course. And it was a uh, big fun. And also, uh, just a couple of years before that, the LA Olympics. And I have to tell you that the Canadians, the Scots, and the New Zealanders, they joined together. Yeah. Uh, and the Australians and the Americans, they... <laughs> And the English. And, uh, yeah, and the English. And then they have all the big parties, and the other people, it's okay, your mother's probably English, ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, are, they have the big parties, and the Canadians and the Scots and New Zealanders march along to the party. It's yeah. quite a funny thing to watch. I think, like, I mean, I think being a small country attached in some way or another to a larger country. To a behemoth. Yeah, definitely sort of plays some uh, havoc with a, a nation's psyche, for sure. Well, you're one smart cookie. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really much. appreciate you coming today. No, thanks I, for I, having I, me. Yes, and take your sandwich. Shirley Manson. <laughs>